Hi, welcome to Filtery. In this video, I will show you how to edit 70s vintage filter using Lightroom Mobile. Here are some example photos using this filter. You can download this preset for free from the link in the description, but the file is password protected. The password will appear twice on the upper right corner. Let's start editing. First go to light. Drag the exposure slider to minus 0.40. Drag the contrast slider to minus 20. Drag the highlight slider to plus 22. Drag the shadow slider to plus 5. Drag the white slider to minus 30. Drag the black slider to plus 15. Go to curve. I have copied the curve setting from my previous photo. You can follow the same curve settings. Now go to color. Drag the tint slider to minus 10. Drag the vibrant slider to minus 20. Drag the saturation slider to minus 4. Now go to color mix. First go to red color. Saturation to minus 45. Luminance to minus 30. Next go to orange. Hue to plus 5. Saturation to minus 20. Luminance to plus 5. Go to yellow. Hue to minus 20. Saturation to minus 60. Luminance to plus 10. Next go to green. Hue to minus 10. Saturation to minus 40. Luminance to plus 20. Next go to Aqua. Saturation to minus 40. Hue to plus 5. Go to Blue. Saturation to minus 40. Luminance to plus 10. Next go to Purple. Saturation to minus 15. Go to magenta. Saturation to minus 20. Luminance to plus 15. And done. Now go to color grading. Hue to 204 and saturation to 9 for shadows. Hue to 47 and saturation to 29 for highlights.
blending to 100. Balance to 14. And done. Next go to effect. Drag the day's slider to plus 40. Drag the vignette slider to minus 40. Drag the midpoint slider to 65. Feather to 70. Drag the grain slider to 45. Drag the size slider to 32. Drag the roughness slider to 40. Now go to details. Drag the sharpening slider to 5. Drag the color noise reduction slider to 5. Now go to profile and choose vintage 8. And finish. Now let's try to copy this preset to another photo. Copy settings. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I'll see you guys in my next video.